now I'm recording into the hard drive at 320 by 240 to have a lousy picture. But I hope there's some sound. Mr. Natural, I've got this idea in my head, so I thought I'd get you out of bed. You're the only one who can help me make my dreams come true. Everything is easily for you. I don't want to be any trouble. By the way, can I get that on the double? Mr. Natural, I'm going to be a big star. With your help, you know I'll go far. And it's a good... No, no. No, no, no. Because... Feeling... Now, what's the one there? Mr. Natural. Da, 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 da. Mr. Natural, I'm gonna be a big star. With your help, I know I'll go far, cause you got everything that I need to take it all. The way, but I'm not feeling very well today, so I'm canceling my lesson. As for next week, I'll keep you guessing. What the fuck? Mr. Natural, I know you must really love me. I'm, I'm, the Mr. Natural. I can't think of it now, Mr. Mr. Natural, you've given me so much for free, I think you must really love me, and it's a good thing to, cause there's so much more you can help me do, I owe you big time and I'll pay ya too, but you know it's kind of funny. <laughs> Right now I don't have any money. That's my students. And all I want to say back is, Mr. Natural says, just get those ideas out your head. Get over yourself before I'm dead, cause you're the only one who can help you make your dream come true. If it's valuable, it's hard to do. You really need to dig your ditches and stop whining like little bitches. Mr. Natural says, you gotta help yourself, my dear friend. My patience has come to an end, cause I've shown you the way you have to practice each and every day. Get with the program if you want to play. Otherwise, you'll keep on sucking. Might as well pack up your guitar and keep on trucking. Mr. Natural, keep on trucking. Get over yourselves. Hey! Keep on trucking. You're ruining my health. Hey, keep on trucking. You're poisoning the well. Hey, keep on trucking. Stop ringing my bell. Keep on trucking. Ah, well, we're all going to hell, so let's all just keep on trucking. Ah, students. I think the worst thing is when you have students who are friends. First one's not to pay the bill. Never do their homework. Talk in class. Pass notes. 
And if you say, hey, knock it off. We're trying to teach you with other people. Stop being so rude and crude and taking it all to yourself and share it with us, you know. Come on, hey, please stop, Mr. Natural. And this information is a valuable resource. Let your friends just go, ah, oh, fuck, he's just on the rag today. Uh, he'll forgive me tomorrow. And tomorrow comes, and I think how empty my wallet is, and then I forgive him. Hmm. <laughs> Too bad. There can't be consequences. But when you're the teacher, you got your little wooden bowl, and you're begging. Of course, they go on, and they become... Natural. I've got this idea in my head. So I thought I'd get you out of bed. You see, you got everything that I need to make it all the way. But I'm not feeling very well today, so I'm canceling my lesson. Well, next week, I'll come in and I'll sit down and I'll tell you that I didn't do my homework. Oh, and I forgot my music at home. No, I didn't go get my bow restrung. I mean, I went to that store at least eight times and they just didn't seem to be open. Well, I'll borrow your instrument. I'll play out of tune. I won't try. And we'll go over the exact same stuff we played last week, which we played better than we did this week, because not only did I not practice, I tried to unpractice. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on this new theory. It's called the decomposition. Yeah. Most people only play for a few moments of their life, and then they spend the rest of their life decomposing. I mean, look at Beethoven. He composed for about 80 years, and he's been decomposing for over 200. I call when I'm watching TV at night and I turn off the television when the commercials come on because who the hell wants to watch the damn commercials and I keep my guitar this little one which hardly fits me and I pick it up and I do what I call noodling noodling around sometimes like right now I'm noodling in the key of G G and you know go to a six minor chord E minor or the A2 chord you can play at either a minor or a seventh version you can go back to D to G there's a lot of different D's D major seven you just do that guy if you just straddle these guys e6 a lot of little French tunes you know 
I had a wife, I had some children, we all lived together and we starved. Yeah. I had ideas, I'd spend our money. Well, it was a good horse anyway, and we starved. Major seventh, six, major seventh. Back to just suspended D to sus to one G six G major seven. Nice, you just go. Jesus. Jimmy Andrews used to go like with his thumb here. You can do that. Uh. Sometimes if you put there two fingers there and play that G, you can lift that and it's not a suspension because that's actually the five of the chord just being just taking a chord whatever it might be D7 noodle in pick one finger up Doesn't sound good. Oh, there you go. C minor A also So I'm just noodling around because I'm doing a I'm not playing Johnny Cash style. I'm not trying to do anything except the first time on the internet with a microphone and I'm trying to get a sound level because Thursday night, next Thursday night, I go to, uh, I host an open mic called the Sacred Grounds uh, Cafe here in San Francisco and we have uh, an open mic and have these artists uh, showcase people from the Haight-Ashbury come in and get up there on stage and do their two songs of whatever in tune, out of tune, marvelous, not so marvelous, grand plans, no plans, you know, in tune, out of tune, you know, whatever. Um, sometimes we get a comic uh, who's not so funny. Sometimes we get a poet who's very funny. <laughs> uh, there's lots of poets here in San Francisco, no end of them, ever since Ferlin Getty in the days back in the, you know, back in the 60s. Uh, no, it's not a nude cafe. <laughs> ah, whoopee, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, no, it's not a nude cafe. Although, nudity is legal here in San Francisco. You can walk around stark naked as the day you were born. Uh, if you can handle the the cold shivers at night with your uh, bollocks and your labias, you know, you can uh, walk around as nude as you want to be and have an entire city do their best not to pay any attention to you whatsoever because uh, nobody's impressed here. It's amazing for this city of love and uh, having lived through all those wonderful festifuckles in the park, how celibate and uptight people are here. But I guess it's happened everywhere in the world, huh?
So I'm getting reports here. That the sound is working. No, skinheads are... No, that's just not true. Uh, you... <laughs> What do you think punk rock really, really, really got going here in San Francisco? And a lot of the punk rockers actually, was, I remember one girl, she was a ballerina and she became a punk rocker. And another friend of mine was like a business executive and he just, uh, he, uh, you know, he would put on his uh, helmet and he had one of those mohawk hairdos, which I haven't seen since the 60s. And they'd all go to the Mubohai Gardens here get up on stage and play for each other and throw bottles and cans. Nobody does cabbage anymore, you know. I mean, tomatoes, that's too expensive, man. And, uh, you know, and lettuce. Nah, people eat that. Cabbage. Cabbage used to be cheap. Of course, here in San Francisco, it would have to be a uh, an organic radish or a beet. Shaboom, shaboom, na 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 na. Remember that shaboom, shaboom, na 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 na. Shaboom, shaboom, ba 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 de 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 da. Ba de de. Of course, the infamous is heart and soul. Ba da da de da da da. I'm just a teen angel in love. Da 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 I remember the first time I put my hand in your bra and got a chance to touch him. Does the microphone work out there? Yeah. It has been. It has been breaking up again? Yeah. It does break up. Oh. No, Some children of all ages out here trying to get my attention. Oh, just warms the cockles of my heart to give attention to people with evil intent. Hmm. God, let's see. Is that a no-brainer? I have to forgive myself about not liking you before I can forgive you. Not that you would need it. Because you're all going to hell in a handbasket. Because I know that I am and I know 
that I'm a superior man than you, and I'm going to hell. So you must be going. I can only hope you're in a different room uh, than, than I am. Uh, of course, it'll be my luck that when I get to hell, you'll be fucking room service. So I have to listen to these recordings to see, you know,